God bless each and every one of you. We are so happy to once again come into your heart and home and, and uh, continue to, to sing the word, of, to say the word of God to you. I'd like to introduce Robert Mancilla. God bless you. God and bless Pat you. Stancato. Good afternoon. And everything, nothing is with everything that's around us. Everything is possible with God. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing is impossible with God. My dear precious brothers and sisters, we're going to study now supernatural warfare. That's breakthrough warfare. So stay tuned as God has a wonderful teaching ready for you. Please do call in if you have a prayer request so we can pray for you over the air or over the phone. We love you very, very much. God bless you. Dear brothers and sisters, you know we've been studying um, how to walk in the supernatural realm. And to walk in the supernatural realm, my brothers and sisters, we must develop the mind of Christ. Yes, in other words, if you're going to walk in the supernatural, your mind must be the mind of Christ. And that's what we're going to speak about today, the mind of Christ. We must have peace of mind. You know your, your mind should be at peace. Um, so it can be open to God the Holy Spirit. It cannot be open to God the Holy Spirit unless you're in a state of a peaceful mind. Isaiah 26, 3. Let's see what we have here. Isaiah 26, 3. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. I can't get that right now, but I'll read it to you later. Um, to walk in the supernatural realm, we must develop the mind of Christ. Uh, Robert, what do you say to that? Uh, I would need to say that just as you were speaking, Dr. Petronella, we got to have mind, we got to have peace. And when you walk in peace, then you're sure that God is with you. Your mind has always got to be clear, ready, and able to pick up the Holy Spirit, what it's saying to you. Amen. Thank you, Pat. What does it mean to you? It means to me that we need to. Take advantages of how God is purging us of things that interfere with that, just things in ourselves. In other words, as we go to the cross, we decrease and Jesus is increasing. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Praise you, Lord. The mind is a very delicate and wonderful thing that God created. But we want this mind to be as the mind of Jesus. Because if we're to walk in the supernatural realm, which is walking as Jesus Christ walked, our mind must be the mind of Christ. Characters of the human mind. Characteristics of the mind. It enables us to have subjective awareness towards our environment, our environment. So we should, we should be totally aware of the environment that we're in to perceive and respond to things around you. It's an agency to have consciousness, including feelings. Your mind is going to let you, first we're going to perceive the atmosphere we're in, and then we're going to respond to anything that's around us. Is the mind the emotions? It's part of the emotions. Some psychologists, uh, psychologists argue that only the higher intellect functions as the mind and reason of memory. Emotions, these emotions, love, hate, fear, joy, are, per, are primitive of subjects of nature. In other words, love, love, hate, fear, and joy are primitive emotions. So we need to know how to control those emotions. Love, hate, fear, and joy. Um, in popular usage, the mind is frequently the same as thought. The primitive conversation with ourselves that we carry on in our heads. That's what that means. In other words, our thought patterns is a conversation within our mind. So we should, that's why we must have our mind, the mind of Christ. What do you say to that, Robert? I know that's important. Uh, well, the, the Word of God tells us that uh, we need to cast any, anything that comes into our mind as, as far as uh, imagination. Because we could either uh, heed to that or, or turn away from. Now, it could be good, it could be bad. But most of the time, we live in the world, so a lot of things are going to come and clutter our mind. And so 
anything that is not uh, according to the word of God, we need to take control, we need to take power over it and pull that because it, it could become a stronghold in you. And then, uh, you, you know, it says you need to take captive every, 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 every thought to the beatings of Christ. Yes, a absolutely. Um, you know, the emotions are a very strong part of our being. And we must put those emotions and subject, subjection to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, frequently, the, th the thought are, is a conversation in our mind. You know, what should I do with this? What should I do with that? That thought pattern is a conversation to ourselves. That's why we must have the mind of Christ. We can make up our minds. We can change our minds. Or we can have two minds about something. They can only interpret what we can consciously or unconsciously communicate. So in other words, your mind must be the mind of Christ. We have our dear brother here today also, um, Pastor Marat. Thank you, Mother Joanna. Hallelujah. Um, mental faculties are functions of the mind. The thought is a mental act that allows humans to make sense of things. See, this is where we decide things. This is where we make sense of things. And I want to tell you, the mind is the devil's playground. Your mind is the devil's playground. That's where we're attacked, is in the mind. That's where we make our decisions. As Robert said before, to either listen to those thoughts or bind them in the name of Jesus Christ. يعني العقل بتاعنا ده هو المعركة اللي بتتم فيها الحرب الروحية. علشان كده محتاجين ان احنا نخضع كل فكر لطاعه المسيح. هاليلويا. هاليلويا. Um, thinking involves the meditation, the thought. When we engage in problem solving, reasoning is with us. When we make decisions, that's when we're using our mind. Examples. Thoughts, ideas, discords, and imaginations. What is the imagination? يعني ايه التخيل يعني ايه معناه ايه التخيل ده invoking images ideas are in the mind يعني هي مجرد خيالات او صور بتيجي في العقل things imagined are said to be seen in the mind are to be seen in the mind's eye يعني التخيل ده يعني صور بتمشي في العقل what does it say in, in strong's concordance how does it explain the word mind? يعني الكلمة دي العقل بتشرح ازاي في الكتاب في التفسير الكونكوردنس. It's the God-given capacity of each person to think or reason. It's given to us for, uh, by God. ربنا بيدي لكل واحد إمكانية للتفكير يعني والتعقل. So we, that's where we, we receive God's thoughts through faith. عن طريق إن إحنا بنستقبل أفكار الله بالإيمان. And this is so important, this scripture that Paul wrote to the Romans. Romans 12, 2 and 3. And be not conformed to this world. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That you may prove. What is the good and acceptable and perfect will of God? So we don't want our mind filled with the things of the world, but filled with God. And that's how our mind is constantly transformed. So we can prove what's the good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Um, those, I say thoughts are given to me for I say thoughts that are given to me يعني الأفكار بتعطى لينا to every man that is among you يعني كل واحد فينا ربنا بيدي له أفكار يحطها في عقله يعني not to think of himself علشان الواحد ما يفكرش في نفسه ولا في أنانيته more, more higher than he ought to لكن ما تفتكرش في نفسك أكثر مما تستحق but to think soberly according as God hath dealt to every man the measure of faith لكن يعطى لكل واحد مقدار من الإيمان ليرتقي للتعقل Luke chapter Luke verse, uh, chapter 24 verse 45 في لؤة 24 45 
Then opened he their understanding. فتح الرب ذهنهم they, that they might understand the scriptures. لكي ما يفهموا الكتب. Here Luke is quoting to us this very very powerful a verse. وده هو عدد قوي لينا علشان نفهم. Jesus was teaching the apostles and he discerned that they weren't understanding him. اه يعني عدد كبير من التلاميذ ما كانش بيفهم الكلام اللي بيقوله يسوع. And Jesus opened their mind. لكن يسوع فتح ذهنهم وقلبهم to understand. علشان يفهموا. So right now we're going to pray for your mind in Jesus. النهارده احنا هنصلي دلوقتي للعقول علشان تخضع لعمل المسيح. That Jesus may touch your mind in power. يا رب يسوع المسيح المس العقول النهارده. That your mind would be the mind of Christ. لكي ما تتحول العقول الى عقول مثل فكر المسيح. Dear Jesus, we ask you to open the minds of the people watching. يا رب يسوع المسيح احنا بنسالك لتخضع العقول لجلال. In Philippians 4:7. في فيليبي اصحاح 4 وعدد 7 Paul says to the Philippians الرسول بولس بيقول للفلبينيين يعني The peace of God which passes all understanding السلام الله الذي يفوق كل عقل shall keep your hearts and minds through Jesus Christ يحفظ قلوبكم وافكاركم في المسيح يسوع So brothers and sisters that's what the few remarks we're going to make today about the mind ده يا اخواتي الاحباء اللي احنا هنتامل فيه في موضوع العقل في هذا المساء Now I'm going to read that scripture Isaiah 26:3. واحنا دلوقتي هنقرا في اشعياء 26 وعدد 3. It's a very important scripture. It's a very important scripture. يعني ده الاصحاح والعدد ده مهم جدا. Robert, can you get us that scripture? Yes, ma'am. Right Isaiah, here. okay, thank you. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. It tells us, "Thou will keep him in perfect peace." whose mind is stayed on thee so in other because, words oh. if you want your mind to be stayed on jesus يعني اذا كنت عايز عقلك يستمر في التامل في المسيح you keep your mind on jesus you keep conversation with jesus انت تزور راي الممكن تحفظه سالما سالما لانه عليك you متوقف pray. تصلي and your conversation to others around you should be spiritual وكمان المناقشه والمحادثه اللي بينك وبين الاخرين تكون روحيه perhaps exchanging thoughts about the body of christ و- Or the scriptures. وأيضا تتفاهموا علشان تتبادلوا الآراء اللي بتتكلم عن يسوع المسيح. This is very important for you to know. ده مهم جدا إنك تعرفه. The mind of Christ is positive. دائما العقل وفكر المسيح It's إيجابي. It's never negative. مش ممكن أبدا يكون سلبي. Anything negative, any thought, negative thought is not of God. أي شيء سلبي مش من ربنا. Robert, can you give us an example of a negative mind? دينا يعني فكرة إيه معنى العقل السلبي ده يا روبي. Uh, let's say you're praying to the Lord for something. And, and all of a sudden you say, oh, I don't think he could do it. Oh, so now you're putting God like in, in a box. See, uh, the only thing God cannot do is to deny himself. And, and, and a positive mind الإيجابي, and as you walk in that positive mind الإيجابي الإيجابي, then all things are possible for you. Jesus says in um, Luke 26, 12 chapter, verse 29 uh, to 32. I'm going to read that to you right now. So if you're watching, put your hands on your mind. Jesus says this to you. Seek, seek not what which, which you shall eat or drink. Neither be of a doubtful mind. For all these things do the nations of the world seek For your father knows what you have need of. But rather seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all things shall be added unto you. So in other words, as you read the word of God, as you pray, and as you're with other Christians. As in that conversation you're speaking about Jesus. 
So that means you're, you're seeking the kingdom of God. And as you think on the things of God, everything else should be added unto you. Brothers and sisters, um, in these days, we have such a struggle in our minds. And it's so important to keep our mind on Christ. To play the music of God. Christian music. To keep our mind open to what God might tell, God the Holy Spirit might tell us. I tell you, this is a time that we're not to fear. Robert, would you read 2 Timothy 1.7? It's very important for us not to have fear. So what do you do? You bind the spirit of fear. Because fear is a spirit that comes against the promises of God. Would you read that please? Second Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. For, for God has not given us a spirit of fear. But of power and of love. And of a sound mind. That's so important. Because, as I said before, everything that's happening, everything that's on the news, the devil is going to play back in your mind. And he's going to implant fear in your heart and mind. Dear, pres- dear precious brothers and sisters, we have weapons of our warfare. And in 1 Samuel 17:45. في Samuel الأول 17 وعدد 44. Then David said to the Philistine, this is when he was fighting the giant, you come to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord of hosts. The God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defiled. Allah, Ilah, Israel, Ephesians 6.17. Take the helmet of salvation. The sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So we need to know. Dear God, we need to know the word of God. It is one of our greatest weapons. Many people call the Bible their sword. Hebrews 4.12 for the word of God is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. It perceives the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts of the mind. So in other words, Paul is telling us in Hebrews that the, that the, the, sword, of the, uh, the sword of God is, is the Holy Scriptures which divides from the flesh and the spirit. And it's, and it's a discerner of your thoughts and, and the intentions of your heart. So in other words, one of the greatest weapons of warfare that we have against the devil is sacred scripture. And God the Holy Spirit will quicken to you when you need it. The word of God to you. So you can come against the mind of Christ. You can come against the, the, the mind of the devil and the thoughts he's put there. I asked you to call in 
in a little uh, to call in if you have any needs. Right now, the Lord is healing so many of you, but a lot of things that God is healing right now is of the mind, states of the mind. Could we have the healing music, please? You know, God is the deliverer. يسوع هو مخلص. His precious blood is the deliverer. دم يسوع المسيح يخلص. The deliverer يخلص. of your mind. يطهر العقل. With your mind, you serve the devil if it's not under subjection of the Holy Spirit. إذا لم تخضق عقلك للمسيح أنت بتخدم الشيطان. Every time he tells you you need to take drugs. Every time he tells you that you need alcohol to be calm. Every time he tells you to enjoy yourself on the internet. And put sexual things on the internet. And pray that you crave to watch. Right now we're speaking deliverance. In the mighty name of Jesus. يحررك بقوة يسوع المسيح. To every drug addict, كل مدمن للمخدرات. Every alcoholic spirit, واللي بياخد كحليات. Every spirit of pornography, واللي بيتفرج على الأفلام الإباحية. Every lustful spirit, كل ده. Every spirit of fear, كل روح خوف. Every spirit of laziness, وكل روح كسل. We take dominion over you spirits. إن بنأخذ قوة وعمل الروح القدس عليها. And we we in the mighty name of Jesus issue to everybody the mind of Christ Pat what do you feel the Lord is doing I feel that you need to ask the Lord to teach you how to fight the devil he will inspire your thoughts and your mind and slowly you will become to have more consistency of hearing his voice, hearing his word. You don't want to entertain any negative thoughts because the promise of God is yea and amen. Any thought, any thought that is negative is not of God. He may tell you, you can't do this, you can't serve God. You can't have the mind of Christ. You bind those thoughts in the name of Jesus Christ. And you receive the mind of the Holy Spirit of God. Robert, what do you feel that the Lord is doing? I feel that there's people there, they're looking at this channel. But they're, asked, they're saying, I can't do it. ويقول أنا ما أقدرش أمشي في الطريق المعجزة. I tried and I tried and I can't do it. أنا حاولت 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 وما قدرتش. And you are right. You can't not do it on your own. You need to ask for the power of Jesus. وصحيح ما تقدرش بنفسك لكن اسأل قوة الروح القدس وعمل المسيح. So right now in the name of Jesus. الآن yes. بعمل يسوع المسيح. We loose the angels of God in your home. والنهاردة نطلق الملائكة. We put our hands on your mind. النهاردة بنضع أيدينا على عقلك. In the mind of Jesus, in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. باسم الرب يسوع المسيح. We come again. Against every thought, every thought that is not of God, and we bind it, and we issue to you the mind of Christ. So receive that right now, brothers and sisters. Receive that now, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And as we leave you till next week, we leave you till next week. May your mind be the mind of Christ. And may the Lord bless you abundantly this week. Amen. Amen.